the eighth question that we have is a very important and interesting question we've been given that hcp lattice can also be represented by the above unit cell and we've been given c is equal to 4r root over 2 by 3 we need and the length of the diagonal of rhombus is d and uh, the density of magnesium is given we need to find out the volume of unit cell the uh, cell uh, unit cell length the distance between nearest neighbors and how many nearest neighbors does, does each atom have so in this unit cell so what we learn most importantly and firstly from this question is that for a particular hexagonally closed pack structure there can be more than one unit cells also it is depending on the way you visualize it and break it so that to find a unit cell we had earlier seen that a unit cell could have been for a hexagonally closed pack structure it could have been like this but now we see that the hexagonally closed pack lattice can also have a unit cell like this now let us analyze this unit cell to find out the volume of unit cell first now to find out the volume of unit cell we have been already given the density therefore if we can find out the mass of the atoms present in this unit cell we can find out the volume directly so now let us fi find out what is the contribution of each atom in this unit cell now this atom is located at a distance d by 3 along the diagonal and c by 2 perpendicularly upwards as given the, uh, this is a rhombus of side a and these atoms are placed on the corners of this rhombus so in total we have eight atoms that we have to deal with eight plus one this one nine atoms that we have to deal with now if we look at this atom it makes this vertex these two edges make an angle of 60 degree over here so there will be six other unit cells in this very plane which will share this and there will be six other unit cells above these six unit cells which will share this therefore there will be 12 unit cells sharing this atom therefore the contribution of this atom will be 1 by 12 now similar goes for one, this atom this atom this atom and this atom therefore there are four atoms which give a contribution of 1 by 12 plus these atoms the angle here is 120 degree therefore three other unit cells in this plane to making a total of 360 degrees share this atom and there will be three other unit cells above this which will share this atom therefore there will be total six uh, six uh, unit cells sharing this therefore the contribution of this one will be one by six now there are again four such atoms and the contribution of this atom central atom will be one therefore therefore the total contribution comes out to be equal to two therefore the total contribution of the atoms in this unit cell that is the total number of atoms in this unit cell comes out to be equal to 2 now therefore the total mass present in this unit cell becomes 2 into the molecular weight of magnesium that is 24 grams upon Na that is 6.023 into 10 to 23 this gives us the mass total mass present in this unit cell divided by the volume will give us the density that is 1.74 divided by the volume of the unit cells which we need to find out therefore the volume comes out to be equal to volume is equal to 48 upon 1.74 into 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 now this is the answer has come out in centimeters cube now let us uh, solve it in angstrom therefore 1 centimeter is 10 raised by 8 angstrom therefore we can write 10 raised by 24 angstrom cube this gets cancelled over here to give us 480 upon 1.74 into 6.023 angstrom cube that is 45.80 angstrom cube before we get a first answer as the volume of the unit cell equal to 45.80 angstrom cube now let us solve the second part now for the second part we need to find out a so for finding out a we can represent the volume in terms of a now the volume of this unit cell will be equal to the volume area of the base into height that is equal to c now the area of the base is equal to 
बेस इंटू हाइट नाउ दिस इज ए दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्रीज देफो दिस इज ए साइन सिक्सटी डिग्रीज therefore the area of the base comes out to be equal to a into a sin 60 degrees that is a square into root 3 by 2 we multiply this by c to get the volume that is equal to 1.633a therefore we write a cube into 1.633 this is our required volume and we already know that this is equal to 45.80 angstrom cube therefore we get 1.633 into Root three by two, a cube is equal to forty-five point eight zero angstrom cube. On solving this, the value of a comes out to be equal to three point one eight angstrom. So our answer for a comes out to be equal to three point one eight angstrom. A third part is we need to find out the distance between nearest neighbors. Now to find out the distance between nearest neighbors, it is very simple. It will again be equal to three point one eight angstrom. Because in this hexagonally closed packed structures, these two atoms are in contact. Therefore, the distance between them will be nearest neighbors will be equal to a that is equal to three point one eight angstrom again. Now we need to find out how many nearest neighbors does each atom have. Now in a hexagonally closed packed structure, again we know that for a hexagonally closed packed structure, now the hexagonally closed packed structure can also be represented like this. We need to find out how many nearest neighbors does each atom have. That is the coordination number. Now we can find out the coordination number by any atom because it is the same for all atoms. Let us see this atom. This is joined to these six atoms in its own plane. It is connected to all six of them, and it is also tetrahedrally resting on these th three atoms. It is resting on these three at atoms. Therefore, it is connected to these three atoms also. Therefore, six plus three. Now there will be another these three atoms. on top through uh, to which it will be connected and therefore plus 3 again therefore the coordination number of uh, every atom will be equal to 12 that is the number of nearest neighbors for each atom will be equal to 12 one more thing you can notice is that this unit cell is nothing else but a part of this unit cell it is this part of unit cell that is being cut to make a Unit cell again. So our final answer comes out to be equal to the volume of the unit cell is forty five point eight zero angstrom. The uh, unit cell length is three point one eight angstrom. The distance between nearest neighbors is again three point one eight angstrom, and the coordination number for this unit cell is twelve.